Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. This will be for May 2022 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Let's see what we have for you. Remember these are mainly messages and they won't be for everyone. Just take what resonates with you as always. So we start with synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. That's lovely. That is the first message for you. Let's pull a message from Archangel Michael. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guide, that turned over. Use your imagination and you'll see the answer. Dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in the new and an, in new and unexpected ways. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help. Okay, let's pull you one more card. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message from Spirit for Sagittarius, thank you. Message from Spirit for Sagittarius, thank you. Two cards. So I have action. Well, you are a fire sign, not afraid of action, but action might be needed. And we have courage. Courage is the strength to face things that are difficult to face. But generally, bringing positive outcome by being in energy. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. Mess message for our lovely Sagittarius, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides for May 2022. What's the message from Spirit? Message from Spirit, we have... The Eight of Swords, the Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, bottom of the deck we have the Star, So we have one, two, three, swords energy. The swords can be to do with our mindset. Uh, very good in terms of truth, clarity, thoughts, how we perceive things, how we perceive situations, thinking, thought processes, that kind of thing, Sagittarius. can also be to do with communication as well. So... The Eight of Swords can sometimes be where we feel stuck. Now, our mind can keep us stuck in our external reality. The way we see something, the way we perceive things. This can, feel, this can be a, a feeling of being trapped by overthinking about something in a negative way. Um, and feeling trapped. In reality, you can see these shackles are loose. This person could easily wriggle out of those ro that rope you know, and remove the blindfold, but they don't because the way they perceive something is just keeping them trapped in that situation, but nothing encages them. Um, so there's definitely an energy here of somebody being trapped, not seeing how to move forward in a situation, overthinking, We have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is really the culmination of that card. So this can be a card of painful endings. Sometimes it can be to do with loss, um, experiencing a loss 
of somebody potentially and feeling trapped in terms of how to move forward the challenges of moving forward this can also be a card of betrayal being stabbed in the back deeply wounded deeply hurt uh, scapegoated thrown under the bus you know it's not an easy energy however it is a 10 which represents it's the completion of that situation and now there is the new sun dawning in the distance pushing away the dark clouds and there's a new sense of optimism available even though something has been challenging and difficult there's a, a sign from spirit that that's the end of the situation now and there is new optimism lighting up around you to embrace And we have use your imagination and you'll see your answer. So this is an energy of think beyond the immediate parameters that you're feeling right now. It, it certainly feels, I mean, if you've lost somebody here, Sagittarius, and the, there's difficulty in terms of moving on from that, this is the energy of it will take courage, but you have the opportunity to take action now. The signs might be leading you in a specific direction as well. Because if this is to do with loss, the Six of Swords is healing, moving on from what was difficult and embracing more positive and optimistic times ahead. It doesn't mean that you're going to be at the end game straight away. There's still a way to go. But in this energy, appreciating fully that you're slowly but surely moving on from the source of the issue, but not fully at the end yet. You're going to have good days and bad days if it is to do with losing somebody. However, there is new optimism coming your way, and I feel that you're being guided. Again, the star energy is a card of new hopes, new dreams, new wishes, new wishes to be fulfilled. It does represent wish fulfillment and blessings in the sense that it's almost like, you know, you're aligning to a path where there's new hope. The star comes after the tower in the major arcana. And the tower can represent significant life-changing energy or in an area of your life. So for some of you, this could be to do with grief or accepting grief and moving on from that. But there is absolutely new hope. But there is blind faith that's needed on this path trusting surrendering and actually embracing the possibility of new optimism but fully understanding that you won't be at the end game yet there's definitely an energy here of there will be a way to go you'll have good days and bad days but slowly but surely the good days will outweigh the bad days and you move to a sense of new optimism and hope and new purpose and new pathways it just feels like there's a real blessing for that reason here that's the strongest message that's coming through for me. Now, like I said, this can also be, you know, having experienced that betrayal or being stabbed on the back and um, scapegoated in some way. I mean, this could be money, career, finances. It could be to do with, you know, love, romance, relationships here. But the same message applies in the sense that even though you're having difficulty moving forward, I feel in this sense there's new optimism coming your way and putting difficulty behind you. And yeah, there's still going to be, you know, good days and bad days. But slowly but surely, the good outweighs the bad and you move to this sense of new hope and optimism because it's being given to you by spirit. It's almost like spirit is telling you this is the right path, the right, the right direction to take now where maybe some changes happened in your circumstances that was painful and again this could be painful endings as well this is the energy of embracing a new sense of optimism and uplifting energy coming to that uh, that feeling of acceptance and where things are beginning to open up for you again you're beginning to find new dreams new hopes new wishes but it just takes blind faith sometimes to trust that now is the time to move in a specific direction, to embrace, to embrace new hope. That's the energy here because it is saying that it's here for you. New hope, new optimism, new dream is here for you. 
So there's something to be manifested here. The star is a card of wish fulfillment, but sometimes requires that energy of just blind faith. It's, it's a beautiful message, acknowledging fully that these energies aren't easy, but this card is so lovely. It's a sense of renewal. Uh, renewal, acceptance, embracing new dreams. That is the energy I have. It's an energy of dare to dream again, which this person is finding difficult to do for whatever reason. But there's definitely an energy of dare to dream because there's a new dream here to be fulfilled. I mean, if this was to do with, like I, like I said, it could be money, career, job loss or changes or something, you know, challenging that happened in your career. This is an energy of a new hope, a new dream is opening up for you and is beginning to look very optimistic. Okay, final message for Sagittarius, thank you. We have fun and you too must enjoy yourself. Number eight. Sometimes just allowing ourselves, especially in this kind of serious energy, um, to just have fun for the hell of it and just say the situation is what it is, but just for five minutes or, you know, half a day, a day, an hour, call it what you will, just allowing yourself to have fun does actually change your energy. Um, so that's why that card comes out sometimes. And it sometimes comes out when it when we're dealing with serious situations because it this kind of thing just helps us stay in our balance, you know, balance our energy out. So it's not just so focused on one area, three swords energy. Okay. Yeah, problems that have held you back are being cleared. We are monitoring it, number 31. Yeah, there's release here. There's release here. I'm going to pull you a little card as well. I didn't do it before, so I'm going to do that now for you. What do we have for Sagittarius as a message? Thank you. Sunset. Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sun's light burns. Oh my goodness, that is what I'm talking about. New light. Yeah, for some reason these cars are quite reflective, so they're not scanning in the same. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you found the reading helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.